Hetu and uh, welcome or uh, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. So in this session we will look at uh, a very specific uh, case or very specific uh, scenario in referential integrity or the foreign key and uh, this is the in continuation with the previous session that is related to referential integrity or the foreign key right so this is a smaller bit that i wanted to cover because this is also very important from the interview perspective right so let's try to understand that is uh, related to on delete cascade okay what is on delete cascade and how it works we will look at and uh, we'll try to understand in this session right so the very first question uh, we will take two questions here and then we will see the practical aspect of it right so the question is can a foreign key accept null values so can we insert child table without reference referring any value from the parent table okay so in previous session we have looked at we cannot insert a child table without referring the corresponding primary key value from the parent table at the base table okay that we have seen but there is a possibility we can still go ahead and insert a brand new record but without referring that value which means we can have the null value in the foreign key and then we can insert it okay and uh, so what we will do is let's go go to you know a prompt a sql prompt and we will try to create a table and then we will see what does it mean okay let me use it i have already kept it right so let me just run it sorry guys i think okay now it is created we created parent table now we are creating the table okay guys see here what i have done is i have uh, mentioned this thing on delete cascade when i am defining the the foreign key foreign key in the employee table right so i have defined the on delete cascade at the end of this particular column okay so i have referenced it from the department table and then after that on delete cascade we will see how does it impact okay so this is i wanted to show and uh, then let me insert some values all right so i will insert first department table because uh, we have to insert first the base table right before we insert anything into child table right so let's something wrong okay go there okay one record inserted insert one more record record Right, guys now let me insert into depart uh, sorry employee table, which is a referencing table right referencing table or the child table so after we have inserted the value data in base table a reference table we inserted also data into reference table okay so let's see what we have inserted this is department the department have this value and then from emp all right guys now you see that we have 10 20 30 now uh, if i try to insert something let's say here let's say 40 all right and here maybe i can just put one or four and shiva singh maybe all right Let's try to insert. I think it will give you errors. Okay. Why? Yeah. You see the error? Because parent key not found. It is saying that we are trying to insert 40, which is not found in the parent table or the base table here, right? We have only 20, 30, 40 out. But now let's say if I need to at all insert anyways, right? I don't I, I don't want to delete the department. I don't want to insert department number, rest information I want to still do insert right then i have a possibility that i can do it okay with a null value 
so i will say emp number and then uh, emp name all right now let's try one row created okay guys let's see you see that this is washing is uh, inserted but without department number right so this is the way you can do it which means the foreign key so this is the foreign key right the foreign key can have a null value and it can also have the duplicate value okay unlike primary key okay it just completely opposite to the primary key okay so this uh, question also can be asked okay can we insert uh, null value in the foreign key yes we can insert the null value in the foreign key okay and uh, so now what we will do is we will see the other one on delete cascade okay so this is the one on delete cascade so can we delete parent table rows before removing corresponding rows from the child table we will see that okay what does it mean so what we want to say here is okay let's see okay guys so so i have parent table okay a parent uh, parent is dpt department i want to delete department number 10 okay so let's see if i can delete this particular row so i'll say delete from dpt where dpt okay guys before that i want to show you something okay so see that in the previous uh, session when we were trying to do it we were not uh, in the in the previous session right when i was showing you we were not able to delete it because it was giving you error right so i have you know how many 10 2 okay so this one christopher this employee i did this 1000 and 1002 now in previous session when we were trying to delete we were getting an error saying that we have the child record existing so you cannot delete something like that okay some error we were getting now we will try to delete it okay i will try to delete 20 10 okay guys so since we have already defined the on delete cascade right on this particular on this particular problem on this particular uh, foreign uh, key table right this is the referencing table right what will happen is basically when i delete from this it will also delete the record from here so it will first delete it here and then it will delete it so when I say employee table, when I query it in the next time, I will not have 10, these two records, okay? Let's see. Okay, one row deleted, that means it is deleted one row from department table, okay guys? So, see, we have only two records, 10 is gone. Now see, what happens to employee table? Okay. Okay guys, see, as I said, right, so these two records are gone two records are gone remaining three are there uh, three are there right one without department number and these two so this is what happens right so when you define so this is very very crucial and very important question that uh, interviewer can ask can we delete can we at all is there any way or is there any possibility that we can delete the record from the parent table without deleting the corresponding record from corresponding rows from uh, child table so the answer is yes if it is so when you it is possible but you have to define the you have to define the child table uh, along with your uh, foreign key you should put the on delete cascade command okay so it should be while creating the table then only it is possible okay so yeah guys this is what i wanted to cover i think we have taken almost all the questions and every possible question that interview can ask on the foreign key so please go and watch the previous video and this video i think uh, this will give you all the you know answers and uh, with this guys i am i'm concluding that we have already covered all the constants so please go and watch all the constant related video if you have any questions query please do oh, you know send me out okay uh, in the comment box okay guys thank you thank you for watching this video and uh, see you with the next video until then happy learning and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye